All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to make one of those little fancy sort of corner banners that you've seen on images, I'm sure on websites, where it sort of goes over here like this and then has a slight curl at the top with some text on it. And so that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've taken a screen grab of one of my websites here. This is my photography website, uh, graphicsmedia.com. And I've got an image here of the Alamo. And what I want to do is put a little banner in the corner to indicate to people that they can purchase this image. And so what I'm going to do first of all is create the text and I'm just going to put in here by me. We'll change it to white. Let's just move it here. The next thing is I'm going to create a new layer and drag that down below the text and just roughly draw out an area behind it and fill it with some color. I'm just going to use a green here so we can see it and deselect that. And now I'm going to use the marquee tool again. And the idea being is I'm going to use it to trim this up a little to the more of the shape and the size that we want. So I'm going to do that there and then I'll do this here. So I'm just removing the excess area that we don't need. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is select both of these layers by using the shift key. And I'm just going to click on the text, hold the shift key and click on the layer one there and drag them both down to the folder to create a new group. And I'll just name that group banner. And the reason for this is twofold. Firstly, it keeps everything organized. And secondly, by doing this and selecting banner, I can now hit the V key and use the move tool and move these together and manipulate them together as you can see. So what I'm going to do is on the Mac, I'm going to do command T on the PC it'd be control T, which is going to enable me, let me transform it here and rotate it. So I'm going to hold down the shift key so that as I do it, it rotates as you can see at some angles here. And I'm just going to go with, I'm going to do 30 degrees and hit the return key and just move it into a position a little more using the arrow and the shift keys here. And I'm going to put it round about there. Next thing up is to go to the marquee tool. We'll go back to our layer one and I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit here. Just reposition the window and now I'm going to trim off some of the excess that we don't need. I'm going to leave a little bit on the side here and then on the top one, I'm actually going to go flush against the top of the image like this. And if we can zoom back out, you can see we've got our basic banner, but obviously now we need to make it look like it's curling around the, the image here. So that's going to be the next step. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom back in here a little bit. And now I'm actually going to use, go over here and I'm going to use this tool here. I'm going to use the pen tool. And what this enables us to do is to draw some points and create curves by dragging. And so let me show you what I mean here. I'm going to first start by clicking down here and then I'm going to go up here. So we've got a straight line and then I'm going to click around about here and I'm going to keep the pen pressed down. I'm using a tablet. In your case, if you're using a mouse, just keep the click pressed down and then just drag and you can see it enables me to make a slight curve here like this. So depending on how big and you want the curve to be, I'm going to do that right about there. And now it's going to look a little strange at first, but I'm just going to click up here. I'm just going to randomly click over here and then click down here again to get a straight line and close off the shape here. So what's going to happen, it's going to seem a little weird at first, I know, is I'm now going to hold down the option key on the Mac here, uh, the alt key on the PC and just click and drag and that enables me to, to make this a curved point. Let me really sort of exaggerate it here so you can see what's going on. As I drag down, it brings the curve in. As I drag left and right, it changes the shape. So hopefully that gives you an idea of sort of what's going on there. And you just got to find the shape you're looking for. And I just want a slight curve there like that. And so now I'm just going to go over here to the paths. And down the bottom here, you'll see there's this little dotted circle. And clicking on there enables this to become a selection. So now I can go back to my layers and I'm going to create a new blank layer on the top there. And I'm just going to fill it by holding down the Alt or the Option key. And in my case, using the Delete key or the PC, I believe is the backspace. And that's just going to fill it with some color there like that. And now I'm going to deselect it and go back to the Marquee tool and just clean this up a little bit. So what I really want is a line right about there. And I'm just going to do a cut so it gives us 
let's do that again let's do that there and do a cut so you can see it gives us a slight little curve a very subtle curve and if I zoom back out you'll see it's sort of coming along here but what we need to do now is add the back part so let's just go back in again and this time I'm going to create a new layer and drop it between these two let me just turn them off so you can see what's going on here this is our new layer with nothing on it this one here is this part of the image and this one here is the top part of the image and we're just going to turn both of those back on and in fact actually what we'll do we may as well do it now is eventually we need to merge these two together so I'm actually just going to get rid of that new layer we created take those two I'm going to right click and merge the layers so now this is all one layer now I'll create a new blank layer and put it underneath and I'm just going to go back again I'm going to use the pen tool and I'm going to start clicking right on the corner here of the curve and I'm just going to add a little subtle curve in there like that and some other points that you can just randomly click here just to fill the area and again go over to the paths change it to a selection go back to layers and we'll just again fill it with some color it's going to look a little strange don't worry we're going to cut a bit off here in a second I'll deselect I'll use the marquee tool and I'm going to go back up to the edge of the picture here like this do control X now at first it's not going to look any different right I'm going to use the V key because I, I don't know if it shows up on the video but I can see a slight little gap here so I'm just going to move it over one pixel and I'm, what I'm going to do now is this icon here enables me to lock the transparency and that's what I need to do in fact I'll do it on both layers right now and I'm going to go back to the background one this this little piece here now to trick the eye and make this look correct I actually need to use a darker shade so I'm going to just change to a slightly darker shade of green here and again I'll go ahead and fill it so you can see we're getting a little more of a shape let's zoom back out starting to look a little more like a little sort of subtle curl on the corner here and what we can do is let's just zoom back in a little bit we need to address this side here as well so let's do that let's create another layer again staying beneath this top layer here and we'll use in this case you know you can go about this multiple ways depending on the shape you're looking for but I'm just gonna curl this one in here by just creating a shape clicking there just do a little curl something like that maybe let's see how that works for us complete the shape go over to paths change it to a selection go back to layers again let's fill it here and now let's just deselect use the marquee tool again go to the edge of the picture cut do uh, in my case again I'm doing gonna cut these using command X and now let's zoom back out you can see it's really starting to come along but we need to make it bounce out just a little more because even though it's small we need to trick the eye into thinking this is a 3d object as much as we can and so what we can do for that is go back to this top layer here I'm gonna right click with the blending options let's just move this over here go down to the old trusty favorite drop shadow and as soon as I turn that on you can see it's putting a shadow on this edge here and a very small subtle one in the curve up here now what we can do I'm gonna change the angle to more like 135 to sort of bring the effect out more here than at the top and it doesn't really need to be this big so I'm just gonna change the size down to say well let's leave it at 5 and let's change the distance bring it in we don't need it to be that severe so let's just bring it in to say 3 here and I'm just going to go OK. Let's zoom back out. And there you have it. So you, at the moment, it's still in multiple parts, of course, but it's all within this folder. So what you can do now is you can turn off and you can see there's our complete graphic right there. So when it comes to what I need to do to make it work on my website is export this PNG file with transparency. And I'm just going to go ahead now and do this and crop it. So I'm just going to take roughly the area that I need making sure that I've got enough crop here so that the shadow still comes in and I'm just gonna go and crop this I'm gonna go up to the menu and go I'm gonna go up to image and then crop and now deselect 
And so this is our completed graphic. Basically now you just need to take this and do whatever you're going to do with it. In my case, I need to put it on the web page and use some CSS positioning, but that's a very quick and effective way to make a little 3D curled banner. So I hope it's been useful and I'll see you in the next video.